Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Guys, today's video still not on Instagram live, guys. Uh, she speaks was her ex boyfriend did to her like um he also spend a good time here guys she spend good time here like usually she normally stay on ig live and respond all the questions um from her fans and she also respond to her ex-boyfriend all right guys without wasting much time let's keep watching please make sure you subscribe drop your opinion on the comment section what it is on this video today's the first time hit that red button there subscribe uh, for more updates like this and share this video as well all right i will see you in my next video have a wonderful day thanks I will see both on the account we both have access to the tech team I'm the type of person, I don't put, like, when I do business with people, I don't put them in my business and shit, so it's easy for a motherfucker to text them and say, oh, drop the show, no, 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 but I've been on a break and I really haven't been worried about it, so a motherfucker try to, like, beat me to the punch and do the shit out of spite, whatever, because I'm posting my nigga and my close friends, motherfuckers and my close friends, whatever. So, that shit was done out of spite. Mind you, I'm not even, like, paying attention to this shit because I didn't think a motherfucker would be that desperate to try to go, like, drop my show. Don't got no files to my show. Don't own my show. I own my fucking show. So, the tech team, they're out the country. And they don't got no Instagram. They don't know anything that's going on. So, the only thing they know is if one of us call and say something. I didn't call and say something because I'm not a female. I'm not finna go run and call and put everybody in my business. That's what hoes do. That's what whatever. Um, yeah, I didn't call them and tell them nothing. So, you know, they just got a text saying blah, 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 blah. Mind you, it's still the same number and all that. But long story short, it's like none of that matters because at the end of the day, I'm a boss. And I could make a million apps. I could make a million fucking networks. It's that simple. It's that easy. I'm going to show y'all how easy this shit really is, though. Um, and I don't have to go 50-50 with nobody. Like, I was still trying. was. It's not even being nice. I just wasn't. I just didn't. I just didn't think motherfuckers would just start moving out of spite and be hella desperate. Like, just move on with your life. Like, please, just go this way. Go, 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 go. I got my own name. I got my own motion. I'm that bitch. It's not a nigga out here that I can't have. I can have anybody I want to. Everybody want to fuck with me. This ain't that type of party. Um. So, I just be, you know, I'm in my own world. Like, y'all got to understand, I just had hella shit going on. Like, these, these niggas and all that, I don't care about it, honestly. Like, I start tripping today because I'm actually, like, a couple days late. Y'all know how I am. When a motherfucker keep mentioning me, I'm finna come for their ass. <laughs> Finna come for that asshole. But, um, yeah, I don't want y'all to be confused. And honestly, I feel like that was some scamming shit. Because a motherfucker over there broke. You know, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is what it is. I didn't get evicted out of my house. Um, when I first got that house, I was doing rent to own. And then I didn't want to. I didn't want to own it no more because I didn't want to own it no more because first off that house had like a, a leakage problem. The fucking pipes was bad and that's a lot of money. And honestly, the amount of money that I would put into buying new pipes and an irrigation system, I could just get a new house. Okay. Okay. And then two, like when you fucking with a nigga, that's like a little kid. They want to bring everybody to your house, make the make the spot hot. That's too much for me. And um, I've been told, you know, I've been got my money back gang a long time ago. So it was already what it was finna be. I already fucking is in the process of buying a house right now. Something that I actually really want. That house, I feel like it was it was beautiful, but it just wasn't for me. The area wasn't for me. It just wasn't for me. That's just not my life. Like, it was too boring. 
it was way too boring for me. I'm gonna keep it a band. Like, it's it just. <laughs> It just depends. Okay, when you a female, you got to be calculated. Like, you know, I'm not a little kid no more. I don't just get up one day and just be like, oh, I'm going to do this. Like, everything I do is calculated. Everything I do is planned. Everything I do has a purpose. Um, You know, it just what I do. Um... I'm explaining some shit. I'm tired because honestly, I feel like a motherfucker want to be in the blogs so motherfucking bad. That's all the shit is about. It's about clout, 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 clout. My whole thing is like though, when you got your own motion and you got your own clout, you can move freely and do what the fuck you want to do. Like you ain't gotta. I don't gotta clout chase off anybody because at the end of the day. When my name is posted, it says Stunner Girl. It don't say so-and-so's girlfriend. It don't say I'm so-and-so's baby mama. It says Stunner Girl. Me. I got my own name. I put in eight years of work in this industry for this shit. I got my own name. I got my own businesses. Ain't no nigga my motherfucking manager. Now, I've been in the industry long enough to know that you got to have somebody playing as your manager. But ain't nobody my manager. My distro... All my video, all my Stunner Girl Media is me, okay? That's what y'all gotta realize. So I can do what the fuck I want. I could get up and go get another house. I could get up and go do whatever I want. Like, that's the best part of being me. That's the best part of building your name. I don't gotta cloud chase off nobody's name. Whatever the case may be. Um, Another thing, too, when I first started dealing with dude... My brother had just died, literally. I started dealing with him, like, in June. My brother died in July. So that first year, like, I was literally out of it. Like, I was so distraught over my brother that I was trauma bonding. And, you know, just confusing trauma bonding and all that for for love. You know how that go? Like, when you trauma bonding. And, and I feel like in that first year, my eyes was like not woke to a lot of shit because I wasn't worried about a lot of shit. I had, I was dealing with, you know, the death of my brother and then dude got shot. He got shot like the next month. So it was just like, it was a lot. He got shot. My brother died. You know, it was just a lot going on that first year and fucking, um, so a lot of shit was like, not what's the word? Like it wasn't. I wasn't paying attention to a lot of shit because I didn't give a fuck, honestly. Like, how I felt about it is, like, I'm getting through one situation. I'm dealing with my brother. And I don't, I'm not really, like, you know, whatever. I don't even know how to explain this shit. But a bitch, I wasn't in my motherfucking right mind that first year. Second year, though. Girl. Girl, girl, girl. Ooh, I'm getting chunky. <laughs> getting chunky i'm getting chunky um it's kind of weird to say because like he got his money and shit and then he just like fell off and honestly i'm not the type of bitch like i'm not gonna leave you if you fall off i'll try to help you whatever but like that's how he kind of tricked me. Like, in the beginning, he'd buy me hella shit. Be big tricking, big tricking. And then if that money started to dry up, baby. <laughs> that money started to dry up. <laughs> Honestly, I feel like when dude got shot, he just, he fell off all the way. See, me, I got shot. It ain't nothing to me. I ain't falling off anything to turn my savage up, you dig? But, um, you know, some people, they can't handle that. And I'm such a, I have such a good heart that, like, <laughs> that he tricked you. <laughs> Yo, y'all hella funny. I can't fuck with y'all. I'm not talking to y'all no more. But, um, 
too. Yeah, the shit get way deeper than that. And then this dude be making up like elaborate, elaborate lies. And then he was like the type of person he wanted to cut me off from my family. Like this is the only dude I ever been with that didn't got into it with my whole family. Like that is ridiculous. He got into it with my mama, my brother, my sister. Like that's female traits. Then got into it with my whole family. He ain't got no family, so he was trying to make he was trying to make it to where I would be alone just with him. Like, it's never going down like that. I got too much brothers, cousins, motherfuckers that love me that it's never going to be like that. Like, it's not going down like that. Um, He was also the type of person, like, he'd break into my phone, block people. Motherfuckers would be messaging me for features. I wouldn't even know until I go to my block list and be like, he had a real hatred for rappers, but you fuck with a bitch that rap. Make this shit make sense? How you hate rappers, but fuck with a bitch that rap. Um, it was just like jealousy, bro. Like, that shit is real. Breaking into my phone, blocking niggas, um, trying to get in the way of, like, my bag. Trying to get in the way, but at the same time, trying to use my name to get around, to get around motherfuckers in the industry. So, it really just is like a cold clout a cold cloud chase all well acting like he was in all these problems because of me but in reality like when when everybody started to talk it was like this nigga was like lying to everybody playing the fence and it's like honestly you don't have to do that like when i met when i met him he was just like a dude who got his little money or whatever like he wasn't like all this shit all this extra shit a lot of extra i feel like when people get with me though they feel like they gotta play this image but i don't understand why um yeah they feel like they gotta be something that they're not like be yourself okay that'll get you further also also what i'm starting to realize too this world is scary and this world is crazy because It'd be like, um, motherfuckers can go around and literally just lie and take people's images and, like, just do all types of crazy-ass shit, bro. Like, I don't even know how to explain it. A motherfucker could just be anybody they want to be. And then you gotta think, too. It was to where, like, um... I can't even explain it. Like, the jealousy was crazy. Like, you know, I got homeboys and shit that I've been, that's been my homeboy since I was a little girl and stuff. So he would always try to come in the way. And I started to realize, like, you don't want me to be cool with my homies because they really know shit about you and you don't want me to know that. You feel what I'm saying? Like, you don't want me to talk to my homies because they gonna tell me the real and the shit that I need to know. They, you know, so a motherfucker would try to make these elaborate lies up make up all this elaborate shit so the real the truth wasn't being said and yeah can't nobody cut me off from my family can't nobody cut me off from my homies can't nobody do that it's just a lot of jealous like y'all ever dealt with somebody like i swear to god i couldn't go nowhere without this nigga talking about you you're fucking this nigga like bro i could literally just breathe 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 I could be in the same room as somebody and this nigga gonna say that. And usually when niggas do that, it's because they got shit going on. I'm telling y'all. That's what that means. But it's like, bro, I'm lit. I'm young. I don't got no kids. I could do anything I want to do. And honestly, like, being a cancer, I feel like I take on people's problems. And, like, once I start feeling sorry for somebody, I try to take on their life issues. And, like, I really got to grow out of that. Because that that's not good. This last year, I felt sorry for him. And that was about that. But, um, yeah, you got to stop. I got to stop doing that. I start feeling sorry for motherfuckers and then whatever but honestly though i was being on that damn i got a fucking bruise on my back that shit hurt (laughs) 
my fucking ass scraped on the floor. Mm. She's not reading that comment, just yapping. <laughs> I honestly didn't ever want to bring this shit to the internet. I have moved on gracefully, honestly. Like, everybody always tries to make it seem like I'm the problem. Like... It only only when I say something it'll be broadcasted. Only when I do something it's broadcasted. But like, I moved on. Y'all see me? I left out of town, packed my shit, got on. Um, dude went on live trying to do the little snotty nose crying shit. But then after he did that, he started to go reach out to all my partners. He made up all these lies. Like I don't be woofing on my friends and shit. So he started to like. He act like he was calling everybody to tell them, oh, I want to get back with her. Can you guys please tell her something? But in reality, everybody was calling me like, why is this nigga saying all this weird ass shit? Then he tried to reach out to my industry partners. And like my industry partners, I don't be like putting them in my business. Like my fucking um, label people or old label people, my A&Rs. He started reaching out to them. And I'm like, this nigga really cloud chasing. Why are you reaching out to my A and R and putting her and putting her in my business? So I was dealing with that in silence. So then, um, it's just like clout shit. Like you trying to go lock in with my industry people because you ain't got no motion outside of me. Um, yeah. So I was dealing with all that in silence, and then I just snapped. The day I snapped was because it was already those three things piled up. You called on my people woofing. You um threw salt on me. You fucking went on live. Looking like a damn dope fiend, bitch. <laughs> the girly girl. <laughs> like, you just want to be in the blogs hella bad. Like, you didn't have to go on live doing all that. Like, nobody even knew anything. I just left. Like, that was between us. We were supposed to keep it peasy. Like, that's how I was trying to move. You went on there like a dope fiend. <laughs> I'm up in love with Sunny Girl. It's the girly girl for life. I love y'all. Oh. And it's just so fake. Like, who are you saying you love? Like, these people don't even fucking like you. You want to have fans so bad. Like, why are you telling my supporters you love them? They don't fucking like you, gang. This is the most attention you ever got. And honestly, the only motherfuckers giving you attention is bitches that hate me. Bitches that want to wear my coochie. Or motherfuckers that hate me. Literally. The whole world. Literally, when he made that post and everybody found out I was single. If y'all... Please subscribe.